Gospel of Luke, chapter 15, the three parables, Luke 15, 1 to 2. Then drew near unto him all the publicans and sinners for to hear him. And the Pharisees and scribes murmured, saying, This man receiveth sinners and eateth with them. Publicans and sinners. Publicans were Jews that served Rome as tax collectors. Jesus linked them with heathen that were to be avoided. Matthew 18, 17. Matthew was a publican who became an apostle. Matthew 9, 9 to 13, Mark 2, 14 to 17, and Luke 5, 27 to 23. Publicans like Zacchaeus were also called sinners as were prostitutes. Luke 7, 36 to 39, 18, 10 to 14, and 19, 1 to 10. Pharisees and scribes, religious leaders in Israel who mostly opposed Jesus and called him a sinner. John 9, 1 to 41. Notice that the publicans and sinners came to hear Jesus, while the Pharisees and scribes murmured instead of listening to him. The parable of the lost sheep. Luke 15, verse 3 to 4, KJV. And he spake this parable unto them, saying, What man of you, having an hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after that which is lost, till he find it? An hundred sheep. Israel is referred to as a sheepfold and a flock. If you lose one, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. One percent was lost, and the shepherd went to go find it. In the wilderness. This is a parable meant to conceal things to some and to reveal things to believers. Why is Israel in the wilderness in this parable? Israel will be again in the wilderness during the tribulation period. Revelation 12, 6 KJV. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and threescore days. Jesus sought out sinners to preach the gospel of the kingdom to them. They heard him gladly. Luke fifteen five to seven KJV. And when he hath found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth more than over ninety and nine just persons, which need no repentance. He layeth it on his shoulders. A good shepherd will do that for his sheep. Israel is called God's flock. Paul never calls us sheep or flocks in his epistles, nor does he call us shepherds. 1 Peter 5, 2, 3 KJV. Feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being in samples to the flock. Luke 15, 8-10, KJV. Either what woman, having ten pieces of silver, if she lose one piece, doth not light a candle, sweep the house, and seek diligently till she find it. And when she hath found it, she calleth her friends and her neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I had lost. Likewise, I say unto you, There is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repenteth. She represents Israel. Ten pieces of silver, silver coins. If she lose one piece, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Light a candle, Luke 11, 33 to 36. Sweep the house, the house of Israel. Luke 11, 14, 26. Parable of the two sons. Luke 15, 11, Kate, and he said, A certain man had two sons. Certain man, God the Father. Exodus 4, 22 and Jeremiah 31, 24 the younger son and the elder son. They both serve as types of people in the nation of Israel. Matthew 21, 23, 32, and Luke 18, 10 to 14. The younger son represents the publicans and sinners. Verse 1. Luke 7, 29, and Jeremiah 30, verse 24. The older son represents the Pharisees and scribes that murmured that he ate with publicans and sinners. Luke 7, 30. Luke 15, 12, KJV. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. He divided unto them his living. The portion of goods that falleth to me. The younger son would get one-third of the inheritance according to the law, and the firstborn would get two-thirds. Deuteronomy 21.17 He divided unto them his living. The father divided up his living to both of them, not just the younger. Luke 15.13 KJV And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country, and there wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, 
and he sent him into his fields to feed swine. And he would fain have filled his belly with the husks that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. Far country, this is a reference to his leaving Israel to go into a Gentile land. There arose a famine in that land. Read all of Jeremiah 29 and 30, Jeremiah 29, 70, 18. He went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. If a Gentile joined himself to Israel, he would get circumcised and keep the law of Moses. This was the opposite of that. He sent him into his fields to feed swine. This is forbidden in the law. Leviticus 11, 7 KJV. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven-footed, yet he cheweth clean to you. Numbers 25, KJV. And Israel joined himself unto Baal Peor. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel. Luke 15, 17, KJV. And when he came to himself, he said, Hired servants of my fathers have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger. I will arise and go to my father, and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven for thee, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. When he came to himself, when he came to his senses, I have This is a picture of Israel repenting of their departing from God and their returning hired servants. A hired servant was different from a son. A hired servant would often work for six years and then be freed in the seventh year. The debt were great, as was this son's. He could only be freed in the year of Jubilee. Leviticus 25, 40, 50, and Galatians 4, 1, 9. Luke 15, and he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, and had compassion, and ran, and fell on his neck, and kissed him. This is said of Esau concerning his brother Jacob. Genesis 34, KJV. And Esau ran to meet him, and embraced him, and fell on his neck, and kissed him. And they wept. It is not the brother here that runs to him, but his father. The older brother in this story represents the Pharisees, scribes, and other religious leaders in Israel. Luke 15, point KJV. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. I have sinned against heaven. The way for Israel to be forgiven is for them to humble themselves, come to themselves, and confess their sins. Luke 15:22. But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe, and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand, and shoes on his feet, and bring hither the fatted calf, and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. Best robe. Kings and princes were to wear robes. And Jonathan stripped himself of the robe that was upon him, and gave it to David and his garments, even to his sword, and to his bow, and to his girdle. First Chronicles 15, verse 27, KJV. And David was clothed with a robe of fine linen, and all the Levites that bear the ark, and the singers, and Chenaniah, the master of the song with the singers. David also had upon him an ephod of linen. Isaiah 22, verse 21, KJV. And I will robe and strengthen him with thy girdle, and I will commit thy government into his hand. And he shall be a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. Isaiah. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God, for he hath clothed me with garments of salvation. He hath covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments, and as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels. Matthew 27, 28, KJV. And they stripped him and put on him a scarlet robe, Luke 23, 11, KJV. And Herod with his men of war set him him and arrayed him in a gorgeous robe and sent him again to Pilate a ring on his hand. It was a symbol of authority invested in leaders. Genesis 41 for 4042 KJV. And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand and put it upon Joseph's hand and arrayed him in vestures of fine linen and put a gold chain about his neck. Esther 8 verse 10. On that day did the king Ahasuerus give the house of Haman, the Jews' enemy, unto Esther the queen. And Mordecai came before the king, for Esther had told what he was unto her. And the king took off his ring, which he had taken from Haman, and gave it unto Mordecai. And Esther set Mordecai over the house of Haman. And Esther spake yet again before the king, and fell down at his feet, and besought him with tears to put away the mischief of Haman the Agagite, and his device he had devised against the Jews. Then the king held out the golden scepter toward Esther. So Esther arose and stood before the king and said, 
If it please the king, and if I have found favor in his sight, and the thing seem right before the king, and I be pleasing in his eyes, let it be written to reverse the letters devised by Haman, son of Hamadatha the Agagite, which he wrote to destroy the Jews, which are in all the king's provinces. For how can I endure to see the evil that shall come unto my people? Or how can I endure to see the destruction of my kindred? Then the king Ahasuerus said unto Esther the queen, to Mordecai the Jew, Esther the house of Haman, and him they have hanged upon the gallows, because he laid his hand upon the Jews. Write ye also for the Jews as it liketh you in the king's name, and seal it with the king's ring. For the writing, which is written in the king's name, and sealed with the king's ring, may no man reverse then were the king's scribes called at that time in the third month, that is, the month Sivan, and twentieth day thereof. And it was written according to all that Mordecai commanded unto the Jews, and to the lieutenants, and the deputies and rulers, which are from India unto Ethiopia, a hundred twenty and seven provinces, unto every province according to the writing thereof and unto every people after their language, and to the Jews according to their writing, and according to their language. And he wrote in the king Ahasuerus' name, and sealed it with the king's ring, and sent letters by posts on horseback, and riders on mules, camels, and young dromedaries. Let us eat and be merry. Second Chronicles 7, 9, KJV. And in the eighth day they made a solemn assembly, and kept the dedication of the altar seven days, and the feast seven days. And on the three and twentieth day of the seventh month, he sent the people away into their tents, glad and merry in heart for the goodness that the Lord had shewed unto David and to Solomon and to Israel his people. Thus Solomon finished the house of the Lord and the king's house. And all that came into Solomon's heart, Lord, and in his own house he prosperously affected. Proverbs 15:15 15, 15, KJV. All the days of the afflicted are evil. But he that is of a merry heart hath a continual feast. Luke 15:24. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to be merry. This my son was dead and is alive again. The father is a type of God the father of Israel who was lost but is later found. The father doesn't go looking for the son. God knows exactly where the son is. He went into a far country to waste his inheritance to get away from his father. Exodus 4, 2 KJV. And the Lord said unto him, What is that in thine hand? And he said, A rod, the elder son, Luke 15, 25, 26. Now his elder son was in the field, and as he came and drew nigh to the house, he heard music and dancing. And he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. His elder son, he represents the religious leaders in Israel like the Pharisees. The sin of the Pharisee was hypocrisy was in the field, he was working in the field. He, like self-righteous Israel, sought to be justified by their own works, not by faith. Luke 15, 27, 30, KJV. And he said unto him, Thy brother is come, and thy father hath killed the fatted calf, because he hath received him safe and sound. Angry, and would not go in, therefore came his father out, and entreated him. And he answering said to his father, Lo, these many years do I serve thee, neither transgressed I at any time thy commandments. And yet thou never gavest me a to make merry with my friends. But as soon as this thy son was come, which hath devoured thy living with harlots, thou hast killed for him the fatted calf, which hath devoured thy living with harlots, Jesus ate with publicans and sinners. Mary Magdalene was a harlot, Proverbs 29, 3 KJV. Whoso loveth wisdom rejoiceth his father, but he that keepeth company with harlots spendeth his substance. Jeremiah 5, 7 KG. How shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me and sworn by them that are no gods. When I had fed them to the full, they then committed adultery and assembled themselves by troops in the harlots' houses. Luke 15, 32. And he said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me, and all that I have is thine. It was meet that we should make merry and be glad. For this thy brother was dead and is alive again, and was lost and is found. Thy brother was dead and is alive again. The younger son is the one sinner that repented. The son that remained was a perfect picture of the Pharisees, scribes, and leaders. Matthew 21, 31 to 32, KJV. Whether of them twain did the will of his father, they say unto him, 
the first. Jesus saith unto them, Verily I say unto you, that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. For John came unto you in the way of righteousness, and ye believed him not. But the publicans and the harlots believed him. And ye, when ye had seen it, repented not afterward, that ye might believe him. The religious must have been fuming that the famous rabbi would not eat and make merry with them. But instead he chose to eat and drink with publicans and sinners. Gospel of Luke chapter 16. Sixteen one KJV, And he said also unto his disciples, There was a certain rich man which had a steward, and the same was accused unto him that he had wasted his goods. And he said also unto his disciples, Jesus is not speaking to sinners, nor the Pharisees and scribes as in chapter 15, but to his disciples, a certain rich man God, steward, a householder, the Pharisees, Sadducees, priests, scribes and lawyers were the stewards of Israel, Luke 16, 2 KJV. And he called him and said unto him, How is it that I hear this of thee? Give an account of thy stewardship, for thou mayest be no longer steward. Give an account of thy stewardship. Everyone will give an account of their stewardship. 23 to 35, John 5, 28 to 29, Luke 16, verse 3. Then the steward said within himself, What shall I do? For my Lord taketh away from me the stewardship. I cannot dig to beg I am ashamed. The steward said within himself, he did not say this to his Lord, but to himself. My Lord, this is speaking about the Lord of the steward, certain rich man, not the Lord Jesus Christ. Luke 16, 4, 7, KJV. Solved what to do, that when I am put out of the stewardship, they may receive me into their houses. So he called every one of his Lord's debtors unto him, and said unto the first, how much owest thou unto my Lord? And he said, An hundred measures of oil. And he said unto him, Take thy bill, and sit down quickly, and write fifty. Then said he to another, And how much owest thou? And he said, An hundred measures of wheat. And he said unto him, Take thy bill, and write fourscore. I am resolved what to do. I know what I will do. 16.8 KJV And the Lord commended the unjust steward, because he had done wisely. For the children of this world are in Miser than the children of light. The Lord commended the unjust steward. The Lord here is not the Lord Jesus Christ. It is the certain rich man in this story who had hired the steward because he had done wisely. He was commended for his stewardship or for how he made a bunch of friends for the day when he would get fired. He was commending him in that he made a wise decision in the world to survive. The children of this world, those that were children of the devil, who had heard the truth and rejected it, are in their generation wiser because they made friends of people who would help them out in the future. While the children of the light were not being a friend of sinners like Jesus was in order to reach them for eternity. Matthew 11, 19 KJV. Son of man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a wine-bibber, friend of publicans and sinners. But wisdom is justified of her children, children of light, those that received the gospel of the kingdom and believed it. Luke 16, 9, KJV. And I say unto you, make to yourselves friends of the mammon of unrighteousness, that when ye fail, they may receive you into everlasting habitation. I say unto you, Jesus said unto the children of light, Jesus wasn't talking to you today, but to those waiting for the kingdom to come. Make to yourselves friends. Jesus was called the friend of publicans and sinners. Matthew 11, verse 19. The mammon of unrighteousness. Mammon has to do with money. When ye fail, they may receive you. When any of the children of the light fail, those that they had befriended by telling them the gospel will be towards them at that time and help them. Into everlasting habitations. These are the habitations that they will have forever. Which speak of their eternal dwelling place during the kingdom. Matthew 19, 20 JV. And every one that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundred, shall inherit everlasting life. Luke 16, 10, KJV. He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much, and he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much. If therefore ye have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will commit to your trust the true riches? True riches, those things that come from God. Luke 16, verse 12 to 13, KJV. And if ye have not been faithful in that which is another man's, 
who shall give you that which is your own. No servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and mammon. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. The lesson the Lord wants the children of light to learn is that because they are stewards, they should be thinking of ways to accomplish what is best for them in God's eyes, not man's. And they would be storing up eternal rewards. Justified before men. Luke 16, 14, KJV. And the Pharisees also, who were covetous, heard all these things, and they derided him. And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your hearts. For that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. Pharisees also, who were covetous. Money is highly esteemed among men. The love of money is the root of all evil. 1 Timothy 6.10 KJV For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Luke 16. The law and the prophets were until John. Since that time the kingdom of God is preached, and every man presseth into it. The law and the prophets were until John. These were the ordinances of God given to Israel. Since that time the kingdom of God is preached. The kingdom of God is called the kingdom of heaven in Matthew's gospel. Beginning with John the Baptist, the gospel of the kingdom was preached as a coming dispensation called the kingdom of heaven. It was at hand. Matthew 4, 17 to 23, KJV. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net to the sea, for they were fishers. And he saith unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of And they straightway left their nets and followed him. And going on from thence, he saw other two brethren, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, in a ship with Zebedee their father, mending their nets, and he called them. And they immediately left the ship and their father and followed him. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. And every man presseth into it. It literally means they try to get into it. Luke 16, 17, and it is easier for heaven and earth to pass than one tittle of the law to fail. Heaven and earth to pass. This will happen after the 1,000-year kingdom. Luke 21, 33, KJV. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Peter 3, 10 to 12, KJV. The day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat? Luke 16, KJV. Whosoever putteth away his wife and marrieth another committeth adultery. And whosoever marrieth her that is put away from her husband committeth adultery. Put away. To divorce. The Bible has a lot more to say on divorce and remarriage than what is found here. Malachi 2, 14, King KJV. Yet ye say, wherefore, because the Lord hath been witness between thee and the wife of thy youth, against whom thou hast dealt treacherously, yet is she thy companion and the wife of thy covenant. And did not he make one? Yet had he the residue of the spirit, and wherefore one, that he might seek a godly seed. Therefore, take heed to your spirit, and let none deal treacherously against the wife of his youth. For the Lord, the God of Israel, is putting away. For one covereth violence with his garment, saith the Lord of hosts. Therefore, take heed to your spirit, that ye deal not treacherously. Ye have wearied the Lord with your words. Yet ye say, Wherein have we wearied him? When ye say, Every one that doeth evil is good in the sight of the Lord, and he delighteth in them, or where is the God of judgment? Jeremiah 3, 8, KJV. And I saw when for all the causes whereby backsliding Israel committed adultery, I had put her away and given her a bill of divorce. 
Yet her treacherous sister Judah feared not, but went and played the harlot also. Matthew 5, But I say unto you that whosoever shall put away his wife, saving for the cause of fornication, causeth her to commit adultery. And whosoever shall marry her that is divorced committeth adultery. Luke 16, 19, 21. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. A certain rich man, he serves as a type of religious Israel that is lost and self-centered. Lazarus, he serves as a type of believing Israel that has been rejected by religious Israel. Luke 16, verse 20, KJV. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. Abraham's bosom. When Abraham died, he was carried into paradise, the abode of the dead. Lazarus dies and he is carried to where Abraham was. Lazarus was standing next to Abraham. It is possible that Abraham welcomed him with an embrace. This place is also called paradise. Luke 23:43. They were in the heart of the earth. David called this place hell, Psalm 16:10, and Acts 2:27. Psalm 16:10, For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thy holy one to see corruption. The place where they both were physically was in the paradise side of the abode of the dead, hell, which is in the heart of the earth. One side was paradise, while the other side was because of the flames. The rich man also died and was buried. Nothing is said of the beggar being buried. The law, however, had provisions in it for the poor man to be provided for. The rich man walked by him day by day, never assisting this man to help his condition, so he was in direct disobedience to the law. The Pharisees were the ones that the certain rich man portrayed. If Israel were right with God, the poor would have been taken care of, and Rome wouldn't have been ruling over them. That was because the very ones who were supposed to bring the people back to a right relationship with God were the ones taking advantage of their positions to fare sumptuously every day. Luke 16, 23. And in hell he lift up his eyes, being in torments, and sees Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. In hell he lift up his eyes, being in torments. The rich man was being punished for his unbelief and disobedience. Under the preaching of the kingdom, Jesus' followers were required to sell all that they had and to give to the poor. And seeing Abraham afar off, the rich man had eyes, and he could see past the gates of hell to the place that is called paradise. Luke 20:43. And Lazarus in his bosom, this is where we get the term Abraham's bosom from. It means that Lazarus was right next to Abraham. Luke 16, verse 24, 25, KJV. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus. He may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things, and now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. I am tormented in this flame. Mark 9, 44 and Luke 13, 28. 16, KJV. And beside all this, between us and you there is a great gulf fixed, so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can that would come from thence. Between us and you there is a great gulf fixed. Lazarus could not cross the gulf to the rich man, nor could the rich man come to get water in paradise. Luke 16, 27-31, KJV. Then he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house, five brethren, that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Abraham saith unto him, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. And he said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded. Though one rose from the dead, this place of torment, hell's flames are eternal. Mark 9, 44, 46, and 48. Many Bibles cut these verses out. They have Moses and the prophets. They had the word of God to keep them from going to hell. Mm -hmm.